basically have exams at the end of January. So my first exam is the 26th of January and my second is on the 30th and they are all multiple choice. So two five hour exams, which means I'm literally pretty much just reviewing flashcards at the moment. Thousands of flashcards that I need to commit to memory because there is a huge amount of stuff that I need to know for these exams. So it can be very dry, but at least I've already made all of the flashcards because I kept up with doing that just throughout the course. I'm currently using Quizlet, but you can only review like the whole deck at once. There's like 800 or 900 to review in certain sets and obviously like going through the entire set and then starting at the beginning again, I'm not gonna have remembered much. I don't think it's gonna be very effective. So I don't really know what to do. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with those ones. That is the current struggle. I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna carry on with reviewing some more flashcards. <laughs> I need to take my makeup off but I am using this new app to track my sleep and like improve my wake up which I thought I would share with you guys because I'm actually really excited about it. The app is called Sleep Wave and I am actually working with them today. Basically a motion sensing smart alarm and sleep tracking app and it has genuinely made getting up so much easier for me because I am not an early riser or a natural morning person at all and sleep is so so important to me. I need to be able to be productive, to concentrate, I always feel so groggy in the morning, but Sleep Wave has really been helping with that. I'm sure you guys, like me, are woken up by this horrible, abrasive alarm sound, which jolts us awake at a time that's not necessarily good for our bodies. So Sleep Wave invented this new smart sonar technology to sense movement near your phone by sending out an inaudible high frequency tone, and your body movements reflect energy towards your phone, which then the microphone picks up and analyzes, which provides a highly accurate accurate motion signal. And by linking your alarm to your movements with Sleepwave Smart Alarm, you can transform your wake up and get rid of those feelings of grogginess. Instead of waking you up at a fixed time such as 7 a.m., you set a time window like 7 to 7.15, and the app detects when you're naturally awakening and gently sounds the alarm at a great moment. You can also fall asleep to rain sounds, which I am an absolute lover of, and you can choose a relaxing sound to wake up to. And what I think is also really, really cool is that you can track your sleeping patterns on the app. So I love seeing the visual of like how long I was asleep for, when I woke up, and the REM sleep and all of that. So let's take control of some healthy sleep patterns in 2023. You can make sure you click the link in my description to download Sleepwave's app. So I'm gonna set my alarm now and go to sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning.
because I've been getting more distracted than I would have liked on Monday and Tuesday and I'm just like so aware of how much I have to do which is making me feel a little bit overwhelmed and like I just like don't feel like I have time to do everything. I have put my phone upstairs today and trying not to get as distracted. I've also solved the dilemma of my flashcard decks being too big so I have now split up my flashcard decks that are really big into decks of around 200 to 250. I've also made a grid for spaced repetition which I'll show you. I need to get back to doing some more flashcard reviewing which I'm going to do now. So this is how I am splitting up my revision. I've just got my revision planner and my notion and I'm planning out my day time block and then I'll just move on as soon as I've spent an hour doing the flashcards and then this is the table for space repetition so I've split business into four decks and then once I've completely reviewed the deck this is the date that I did it on so I finished reviewing that on the third and then when I review it the second time the third time the fourth time so for space repetition you want to do the second review pretty close to the first review the third review a little bit further away and the fourth review like a little bit further away still and so on for like the best memory of the things that you've reviewed. So that is how I'm doing it. And as you can see, I've still got a huge way to go, barely done any of it, but I think it will get quicker as I go. And I am sort of like halfway through some of these. So yes, it doesn't look like I've done very much, but I have been working all day for like two and a half days now. So you can see why I'm a little bit stressed, but yes. That is my revision process at the moment. I'm also scribbling the answers on here as I go through the flashcards to make it more of like an active process. head off to the gym I'm meeting the girls there it's nearly half four and we're gonna do a leg session together and then we're gonna go get a Nando's as well back from the gym and from our Nando's. It was so nice to see the girls, I had a really nice time. It was so nice to see them. So I'm gonna get ready for bed now and then I'm gonna do some reading. I'm currently reading, currently reading Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. Got it in a charity shop for three pounds and it's really big, it's good so far, I'm enjoying it. And also another book update, I just finished reading Atonement by Ian McEwan. The first half was incredibly slow and I also find with Ian McEwan's writing I've only ever read The Children Act, I think it's called by him as well, but it can feel really like impersonal and dry and like you don't get to, into like the characters because he writes in the third person and it's very like impersonal. At the end of the first half some stuff happens and then I just was gripped for the rest of it. I really enjoyed it. I was also trying to read it for my reading goal for 2022. So I was reading it really, really quickly and like sitting for long periods and reading a lot of it at once, which actually I think 
really improved my reading experience because I don't often sit for like really long stretches and read. But yeah, would recommend, but stick with it because it was incredibly slow. But I know that it's on a few of those like lists of things that you should read before you die. And overall, I would recommend, I gave it four stars. So yes, that's my reading update anyway. And I'm gonna get to bed now at some point soon. And I thought I'd turn off the video here. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Sleep Wave because I'm so excited to be using them tonight again and I will see you in the next video.